United States election that is actually um, still ongoing, as in the counting ongoing, has given a lot of people much worry. So far, Joe Biden, the Democrat, has emerged president-elect with um, over 270 votes of the Electoral College uh, needed to be declared president. But however, Trump has refused to concede defeat and has said that there are fraudulent acts in the process and is challenging them in court. Well, be that as it were, Prophet T.B. Joshua has again revealed what the outcome will eventually be. Nigerian Prophet T.B. Joshua, founder of the Synagogue Church of All Nations, has made some predictions about the presidential election in the United States these days. According to T.B. Joshua, Christians should be happy that George Barrett will be used as an instrument of control. We Christians would have liked things to run out the way we wanted. But the Bible says it is never okay to base our faith on our improvement after prayer. We don't have to worry. The joy is that the new Supreme Court Justice, Amy Coney Barrett, will be an instrument of control, said the religious man. In the wake of his reasoning, Prophet T.B. Joshua adds, finally, let's learn to live that God hear us when we pray. It is a much greater blessing. There will, be, there will likely be pockets of res resistance here and there, but nothing will change. Let me reserve what I see until the inauguration of the new president. Although he has not revealed the name of the winner of this U.S. presidential ballot, T.B. Joshua has predicted that Christians who fully support President Donald Trump will be disappointed in the end. In addition, he asked them to console themselves with the appointment of the new judge of the American Supreme Court, Amy Coney Barrett. Well, it is what it is, guys. What are your thoughts concerning this particular New story as it were. Well, in another news, another prophet, Badu Kobi, the founder and leader of the Glorious Wave Church International, has insisted that the United States incumbent president, Donald Trump, will remain in the White House, even though Joe Biden has won the November 3rd elections. The Ghanaian prophet was on Sunday, November 8th, responding to claims that his earlier prediction of the U.S. election has failed. According to the controversial man of God, his earlier message was misunderstood, stressing that although Joe Biden has won the U.S. presidential election and should occupy the White House, Donald Trump will eventually be the president using mysterious means. Trump will sit on Americans' seat again, Badukobi said, drawing applause from his congregation. I saw Biden holding the votes and Trump used his hand to hit the back of his palm took it from his hand and left, he added. In the build-up to the 2020 United States presidential elections, 
He predicted that Donald Trump would be retained as President of the United States of America. America will not vote for him, but he will be President. The votes that will come will be for Biden, but Trump will still be President. Badukobi made a reference to his 2016 prophecy about the United States presidential election. When Donald Trump contested Hillary Clinton, in that 2016 prophecy, Badukobi indicated that a certain nation was helping Donald Trump to rig the elections. The same way Trump will bulldoze his way, he will win. Americans will not understand, but Trump is 2021 president, Badukobi declared. Between the two, Biden and Trump, Trump is strong and Biden is weak. And he will use that strength to win. And so Trump is the next president of America. Badukobi emphasized. Now, although it is clear and most world leaders have accepted that Joe Biden has won the election and they have congratulated him, Badukobi maintains that his earlier prophecy has not failed, adding that Trump is a mystery that Biden is not strong enough to unseat. He further alleged that the very nations that he claimed helped Trump to win the 2016 election are at it again to ensure he remains on seat. It was the best of times for Joe Biden supporters and the worst of times for Donald Trump supporters. The latter of whom are taken to the street to protest as their counterparts celebrate. While millions of people who voted for President-elect Biden are in utter jubilation this weekend, the folks who voted for Trump are none too pleased. And it's painting a clear picture of how divided America is today. Take for example what's happening right now in front of the Arizona State Capitol in Phoenix, where hundreds, if not thousands, of Trump supporters are packed in and seemingly furious at the notion he's lost. You can see the flags out, the Uncle Sam hats on, and the anger seeping through their pores as many chanted USA. Several Trumpers are also marching right now in protest, including in places like Austin, Texas, Lansing, MI, St. Paul, MN, and elsewhere. With many of these demonstrators taking on the moniker of Stop the Seal, something Trump himself called for on Twitter. So far, it looks like a lot of these protests are remaining mostly peaceful. Despite reports of counter-protesters coming out to face off with them in some parts of the country. With that said, we have seen photos of some folks bringing out weapons in open, in open current states. And of course, cops are out and about to standing by for any action that might pop up. The demonstrations and celebrations perfectly illustrate just how hard the work of unification will be for the Biden administration. For now, tensions are high and people remained riled up on both sides, which might continue as President Trump digs in his heels for a legal war against the election 
results. Well, it is what it is, guys. What are your thoughts concerning this particular news story? As it were, please drop by at the comment section. Let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support. And I'll see you on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.